most of the lightning we see is either cloud to ground or lightning within the clouds. A vast majority of the flashes, they're negatively charged. However, there's such a thing as positive lightning. A positive lightning strike usually emanates from the tops of big thunderstorms, and they are rare and dangerous. It's not unusual for a monsoon storm to produce thousands of lightning flashes. Most occur within the clouds, but about 20% do strike Earth. But before you get lightning, you first need a thunderstorm. Rain in that thunderstorm drags electrons from the top of the cloud down towards the bottom. And in physics, one of the things that we find is that as you build up uh, a mass of one kind of charge, another charge is going to want to connect to it. Opposites attract. And that's when the negatively charged lightning begins. But a small percent of cloud to ground lightning strikes are positively charged lightning. Positive strikes are much more powerful than negative strikes, about 10 times more amperage, 10 times more current going through them. Uh, they can do incredible damage when they do strike. Storm chaser Michael Linsky, who has photographed literally thousands of lightning flashes, says indeed it's the positive ones that really get your attention in a big way. This is a weird storm and I don't know what it's gonna do. They're very frightening. Um, they're very awesome because the regular ones, we, we all, when we live here, we look at the monsoon, we see the rain coming, we see lightning striking along the rain. And those happen probably 95% of the time when you're looking at a star storm. But then there's one that will come out the top and just strike far away. Positive lightning can rip holes in homes and blow apart chimneys. From a safety aspect, the most powerful strikes may occur when you think the storm is over. Anybody who thinks they're safe, the rain, stop raining, get out of my car, boom, it strikes in the plateau. And those are the clear ones that don't happen that much, and they, um, they're the most dangerous because you think you're safe. Yeah. And, and for storm chasers sometimes, it's not always the case, but I notice a lot out here when I get one of those, the storm is pretty much done. And that's something that also rings true for ASU's Cervini. And usually the positive strikes tend to be later on in the storm because uh, you have to build up a huge amount of electrical potential for those to occur. So they're not going to be the, usually the first lightning flashes that you're going to see, but they'll be towards the end of the storm. Our First Alert weather team has been getting ready for our summer monsoon, and now you can get ready too. So don't miss First Alert Monsoon 2023. Thursday night at 5.30 on Arizona's Family. You guys have been working hard, haven't yeah. you? Kind of weird, yeah. Lightning is so strange. Yeah, it is. So I love it when you guys put up the maps and we see all the lightning strikes mm -hmm. and it's the radar confirmed stuff. Can mm -hmm. you tell from the radar some, if it's something is positive or yeah. negative? We can have it set in the mode where once it strikes, and by the way, lightning stuff that shows up on, on our radar, mm -hmm. in yes, quotes yes, page, yes. is quicker than the radar itself. It's almost instantaneous. Oh, wow. When there's a flash, we see it pop up. But yeah, we can put it up so it differentiates between positive and negative. And Sometimes when we've seen these bad forest fires start, yeah. they've been positive strikes. Oh, yeah. So that's. Let me show you some more information too about lightning. Uh, last year we uh, did not have a lightning death in the state of Arizona. That was a, a good thing. That's for sure. We've had ten lightning deaths confirmed in the past ten years. There is a ninety percent survival rate on lightning, but. 80% of the people who are struck cipher, suffer lifelong side effects. So uh, lightning, we always say this, is nothing you want to mess with uh, during the monsoon.